In the summer of 2019, the city of Tchaikovsky hosted the international educational and training camp Sport is the way to the victory. The main part of this camp was the visit of the Norwegian ski jumping team. For a whole week, Norwegians, world leaders in the ski sports, shared the secrets of their skills with Russian kids and coaches who came to the Perm region from all over Russia and held trainings and workshops. More than 20 famous athletes and coaches, world and Olympic champions, came to the Perm region. We got information that Norway hosts summer camps for young ski jumpers from all over the world. Children have fun and train in such camps, and a unified approach to the training process is developed. We got an idea to organize a similar camp in Tchaikovsky. Why in Tchaikovsky? Because it is, in my opinion, the best sport venue in Russia and one of the best in the world. Yes, uh, I think it's a good idea to gather uh, uh, the whole uh, ski jumping uh, family in one place. Uh, we do it in Norway, have done the same concept for many years now. And uh, to have uh, the kids train uh, with the oldest and best jumpers uh, of your, con uh, your country, it's, uh, I remember it as uh, really important uh, when I was young to have this uh, type of uh, gathering. No, I, we have met uh, very friendly, bo both uh, kids and also coaches, and uh, I mean everyone has been very friendly with us. Uh, very eager kids, listening good, uh, trying to learn what we say, so I think it's a very good opportunity for them and uh, something to bring further. Also for us it's been a great experience, uh, both for the athletes and also for uh, the supporting team. Uh, it's been a good, uh, good, good day so far. Each day combine the training process in the gym and training jumps. Where famous athletes and coaches from Norway helped young ski jumpers and gave them recommendations. Yes, uh, first of all it's a really nice um, uh, ski jumping hills and uh, at the same time we are able to train with uh, younger kids and try to uh, inspire them to choose uh, ski jumping as their sport and to have fun with it. So I think it's a good combination uh, here with training for us and also teaching the young kids. Ski jumping venue in Tchaikovsky gathered more than a hundred boys and girls from all over the Russian Federation, from St. Petersburg to Magadan. Most of all, I liked the lessons from Silje. There was a lot of exercises. We did a lot of exercises that differed greatly from ours. Here we take a long time to analyze the work of all muscle groups and jump. Ingeborg has shown us such interesting trainings that we have never done before. It's just amazing. You can see the man who was on the world podium, who got great results, who succeeded in sports, and now you can come up to him. It's really unforgettable. I managed to get an autograph from Silje, from Robert Johansson, from Forfang, and many others. Do you think yourself like a pop star or rock star? No, no, I don't think uh, that I'm a pop star or rock star here, no. Uh, but uh, it is fun to meet uh, the kids that have uh, seen us jump on the TV and uh, yeah, it seems like uh, they enjoy it and that's fun. We had never done anything like that before. It was the first experience for us and I must admit, that was not the first lump pancake. According to the coaches' comments and looking at the kids, you can see that they're happy. Also, I want to say great thanks to the students of Tchaikovsky Institute of Physical Culture, who helped us to test young athletes. We tested more than 100 kids, and everything worked like a charm. The students did a brilliant, a great job. One of the peculiar features of coaching was that it was done in English. Was there any language barrier between the Norwegian athletes and coaches and Russian kids? Most of Norwegian guys speak English, but there are translators here, and we understand everything well enough. I wouldn't say it's hard, uh, there are some challenges, but uh, actually body language and uh, showing how to do it uh, works very well and also you have uh, some good uh, persons to translate, so 
not really a big issue with the with the language i would say it's uh, it's very good the lectures during the training camp were delivered by the olympics champions coaches alex stokel and christian meyer and also by the representatives of the norwegian ski federation magnus brevik and stole willumstad Special attention was paid to the specifics of coaching, sports science, organization of training and competition process in Norway, and in particular women's ski jumping. Such a camp is organized for the first time, and we are reviving the culture of the Russian ski jumping. I am absolutely sure that every coach has learned lessons for himself. We have seen new coordination exercises, strength exercises. The children have learned and looked at types of flying and made conclusions for ourselves. The main ski jumping team from Norway is here. Kids have seen them only on TV. And now these guys from TV will train them. It's like a boom. Kids are amazed. Every day different coaches teach them. Lessons are versatile and interesting, and a gorgeous organization of the whole process. During the training camp, there was a time for a good rest. Together with the Russian ski jumping team, the Norwegian team took part in a big dance flash mob. Dancing as an element of work at the body coordination is now one of the mandatory elements of the Russian team training scheme. The Norwegians also tried themselves in an unusual sport – dragon boat races. The competitions were held by the Tchaikovsky Institute of Physical Culture together with the Razdolia sport venue. Ah, it was really fun. It was a, it was a hard fight. Uh, we, the, the older guys, won the first round, but then uh, the youngsters had to f uh, more, they were more, uh, in, have more endurance than us coaches, so they won the second and third round. So the sportsmen win over the, the administration and that's, uh, that's uh, typical. <laughs> the Norwegian team remembered the day spent at the Resdolia sport venue, where they enjoyed not only cool water activities, but also played a friendly paintball tournament, as well as had a great evening party. The final day ended with the friendly competitions of the Russian and Norwegian ski jumpers, where the victory was celebrated by Marin Lundby and Johan André Forfang. Yeah, I like the hill here uh, really, really much. It's uh, fun to jump in and uh, I really like the Russian headwind. So uh, I've been uh, doing good in the Russian hills uh, quite some uh, times now. So it's, uh, I really like myself here. Well, the, the importance, I think, is to get to know each other better and hopefully we can learn from each other. That's the, that's the main goal. So we uh, obviously have a lot to learn from Russians and I think also we have something we can uh, give you a uh, value. So I hope this is a win-win situation for both nations and uh, if we can contribute to uh, that uh, the Russians, uh, the, the kids in Russia start to jump further on skis, it will be a huge development for the whole ski jumping idea. Yeah, I think uh, the kids uh, that are here now, they, uh, they will be looking forward to do this again. So uh, I absolutely think it's a great idea to keep on doing this for uh, many years uh, to come. The next big competition for young ski jumpers is the Christmas tournament, which will take place once again in the Perm region in January 2020. We hope that the knowledge gained during the international camp will help kids to achieve new victories. I think these new exercises will help me in ski jumping. I believe that the knowledge which the Norwegian team shared with us will help me at the Christmas tournament to show the best results. I hope that it will help me at the Christmas tournament. I will come to Christmas tournament in 2020. The first ever Russian-Norwegian training camp for young ski jumpers was highly praised. We hope that from nowadays it will be a good tradition to gather together the whole ski jumping family each summer in the heart of Russia.